Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, and this is the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go into another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward into another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father God, we glorify you. We magnify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name. We magnify your name, God, because you are worthy. Every time I come to the throne of grace, God, I got to tell you how worthy you are. There's no other one that's worthy of praise. There's no other God. All the other gods, they got eyes, but they cannot see. The other gods, the ones with the small g, they, the other gods got ears, but they cannot hear. The other gods, the other gods, they got hands, but they cannot handle. The other gods, the other gods, hallelujah, they got feet, but they cannot walk. For our God, he dwells in the heavens and he does whatever he pleases because he just got it like that. And we just serve you, Lord, because you're worthy. Father God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be thanks, God. You are worthy to be worshipped. Oh, God, you are worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy, to find grace and help in a time of need, oh God. And this nation, oh God, oh God, we are, is in a great need. This country is in a great need. Planet Earth is in a great need and we need you, Lord God. We looking into the hills from which cometh our help. Our help come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And we worship you and we praise you and we glorify your name. Father God, forgive us of our sins, God, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, purge us, oh God, wash us, oh God, purify us, oh God, cleanse us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus, what can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus that cleanses a man. It's the blood of Jesus that cleanses a woman. It's the blood, it's the blood, it's the blood of Jesus that cleanses a girl. It's the blood, it's the blood, it's the blood of Jesus that cleanses a boy. It's the blood of Jesus. And that same blood that cleanses us from sin, Father God, it's the same blood that we can use to plead. You said plead the blood of Jesus. So, Father God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know who's listening right now. I don't know who's watching right now. But God told me to pray for you. God told me to pray for you and your household. So right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over your family, over your loved ones. We plead the blood of Jesus over your husband, over your wife. We plead the blood of Jesus over your sister, over your brother. We plead the blood of Jesus over your children, over your sons, over your daughters. We plead the blood of Jesus over your mother, over your father. We plead the blood of Jesus over your cousins. Cousins. We plead the blood of Jesus over your aunties, over your uncles. We plead the blood of Jesus over your whole family. We plead the blood of Jesus over your whole household in the name of Jesus. We might be in a pandemic, but the blood of Jesus is more prevalent. Oh, the pandemic might be more prevalent, but the blood of Jesus is much more prevalent. I plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. Now, when the death angel want to creep in. When the spirit of Corona want to creep in, when this deadly spirit of the Delta, of Delta variant want to creep in, when this when the spirit of the deadly Delta want to creep in, when death want to creep in, when disease want to creep in, when sickness want to creep in, when it want to creep into your homes, it won't be able to because the blood of Jesus is over your over your household today. Everything wicked, everything foul is passing over. 
I decree and declare a divine Passover. It might not be Passover on the calendar, but it's Passover for you and your household. It's passing over. The disease is passing over. The plague is passing over. The corona is passing over. This Delta variant and, it's, and every deadly mutation is passing over you. Everything wicked, everything foul is passing over. Every deadly, every deadly plot of the enemy is passing over. Satanic agendas is passing over. Satanic stratagems is passing over. Oh, all, all the plots of the enemy is passing over you because of the blood of Jesus. God said, if I see that blood, I will not allow the wicked one. I will not allow the death angel to come into your homes. I will not allow everything deadly to come into your homes. He said, I will not allow it. He said, I will not allow it. He, he said he will not allow it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, I will not allow it. And God has given us authority. He says, some things you can allow and some things you can disallow. Some things you can allow and some things you can disallow, just like God. He's given us authority. So I'm giving you authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing by enemies will hurt you. I was giving you authority. He's giving you authority to allow and disallow. Is that scriptural? Yes. Look at Matthew 18, 18. It says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That's the King James Version. But other versions says, whatever you allow on earth, whatever you allow on earth is allowed in heaven. Whatever you disallow on earth is disallowed in heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth is forbidden in heaven. And whatever you cancel on earth is already canceled in heaven. Cancel. He said you can cancel stuff. You can cancel Satan's agenda. You can cancel evil plots. You can cancel the strategies of the devil. You can cancel it. It don't have to take place. It don't have to transpire. It don't have to come to pass. You can cancel it. And God told me to tell you today, those that are listening today, he said, it's a divine council culture. <laughs> it's a divine council culture. Say it again. Say it with me. It's a divine council culture. Why don't you type it in the chat? It is a divine council culture. What is a council culture at any rate? What is a council culture anyway? Let's read. Let's read the definition to, to you. I'm going to read it to you. A council culture is a modern form of ostracism. Council culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles. Council culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles, whether it be online or on a social media or in person. Council culture is a modern form of ostracism. It's modern form of ostracism. Ostracism always existed. If you read back in the Old Testament, when the woman was on her month, was on her menstrual cycle, she was ostracized from her family. She was ostracized from society. She was thrust out of the social circles. She was ostracized, and it, it, and she had to she had to say unclean, unclean, unclean when she came came to contact with others. Unclean, unclean, because she was ostracized and she was deemed unclean. And she couldn't come back into the social circles until her cycle was over and after she was purified. So ostracism has always existed. So, so council culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social circles, whether it be online, social media, or in person. Those subject to ostracism are said to have been 
cancel. So if it's a divine cancel culture, God says we are today in the name of Jesus in prayer, in our prophetic prayer intercession time, we're going to cancel, divinely cancel some of the works of the enemy, some of his stratagems, some of his, some of his evil plots, some of his agendas. Cancel culture is a divine cancel culture in the name of Jesus. Now, cancel means to neutralize or negate the force or effect of another. Counsel means to neutralize or negate the force or effect of another. So we, today in prayer, we're going to step into our authority and decree a thing. We're going to decree it's time for a divine counsel culture, and we're going to counsel or neutralize or negate some of the works, the force of the enemy. You ready? Let's use this prayer stratagem. Let's use this prayer technique. Let's use this prayer weapon. Is put it to action in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, na na masia ndo robo ko rasha na 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 kande robo skata. Yo no 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 ko rasha na 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 kande. Praying your heavenly language. Come on, we gonna do this together. One will put a thousand to flight. Two will put ten thousand to flight. It's more power in numbers. We gonna join together in prayer. We gonna join together in our prophetic intercession. We gonna join together in this in this warfare against the enemy. And we take authority in the name of Jesus. My Bible says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose so no shall be loose in heaven. Whatever you allow on no shall be allowed in heaven. Whatever you disallow shall be disallowed in heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth is already forbidden in heaven. And whatever you cancel, whatever you cancel, whatever you cancel, you, uh huh, you, whatever you cancel on earth. According to God's word, it's already canceled as heaven. So we take authority over the spirit of cancer right now. Cancer seems to be so prevalent in the land, but we take authority over the spirit of cancer, the spirit of cancer, and we decree and declare divine cancel culture. We cancel out cancer right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel out the spirit of cancer in the bodies of God's people, God's chosen ones. We cancel it out in the name of Jesus, and we decree and declare that they're walking in divine hell. We decree and declare that by your strife they are healed today that he you you are healed today right now you have a loved one if it's yourself that's battling cancer today god says it's a divine cancel culture we cancel it right now in the mighty name of jesus we speak to your body we command your body to be made whole to be healed by jesus stripes you are healed by jesus stripes your loved one is healed heal from cancer because there is a divine counsel because we just counseled it out in the main nine mighty name of jesus we just spoke healing into your body and into your loved ones and to your friends and into your neighbors that might be going through this spirit of uh, uh, cancer has attached to this up to the body we detach it in the name of jesus we counsel it in the name of jesus we neutralize it in the name of jesus we negate it in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it's a divine counsel because we counsel in Jesus' name. We counsel right now the spirit of the Delta virus. We counsel the spirit of the Delta variant. We cancel it right now. I know it's going, it's traveling right now by the speed of light in around this country, around your neighborhood, around your loved ones, around this, around this nation, around this planet. But today we say divine counsel culture. We cancel it out in the name of Jesus. We cancel the spirit of the Delta variant and every evil mutation that want to spring from it. We cancel you, Satan. We cancel your agenda. We cancel the, the spirit because it is a spirit. We count to the spirit of this deadly Delta variant and every evil mutation, we cancel it out because it's divine counsel culture. We cancel it out in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that that's the spirit of, del of this Delta variant in the name of Jesus to be annihilated, disintegrated, obliterated, and blown to smithereens right off the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Because we say divine counsel, because it is counsel. Whatever we counsel on earth shall be counseled in heaven in Jesus' name. You got already counseled in heaven. Now we decree and declare on earth is counsel, on earth as it is in heaven. We counsel it out in the name of Jesus. We cancel out this plot, this ploy, this plague, this pestilence. We cancel it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We counsel out the spirit of this deadly Delta variant in every evil mutation. We cancel it off the face of the planet. My Bible tells me whatever you bind on earth shall be bound on heaven. And one transaction said whatever you counsel on earth shall be counseled on heaven. Whatever you disallow on earth shall be disallowed in heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth shall, shall be forbidden in heaven. It's done right now. And we're going to keep on decreeing and declaring God's holy word. He says, speak my my word. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love to eat the fruit thereof. In the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel out the spirit of death that has creeped into the earth realm. It's a divine council culture. Somebody type in the chat. It is a divine council culture. Type it in there. Say, I cancel it out. It's a divine council culture, and I have the authority and power to cancel stuff out. Type it. It's a divine council culture, and I have authority to cancel the evil plots of the enemy. I have authority. You have authority to cancel the plots of the enemy. You have authority to cancel out the agenda of the enemy. You have the Authority to cancel out satanic stratagems in the name of Jesus. You have authority to cancel out satanic conspiracies in the name of Jesus. You have the authority and just now use it. We cancel out the spirit of death traveling through the land and we decree and declare that we will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. We cancel it out because it's a divine council culture. We just cancel it out in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name. By your stripes we are healed. We are living and not dying and clear the works of the Lord. He will satisfy us with long life and life more abundantly. In Jesus' name. He took our infirmity. He bore your sickness and disease. And with your his stripes you are healed today. In the Jesus' mighty name. This is a divine council culture. Y'all know no. This is a divine council culture. Mm -hmm. Yes it is. It's a divine council culture. Oh, yes, it is. We cancel out the spirit of debt because debt is a spirit. Debt is a spirit. And we cancel out the spirit of debt. We decree and declare debt cancellation. Debt cancellation. We cancel out the spirit of debt. We say we decree and declare debt cancellation in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost, those that are in debt to the IRS, in debt to bill collectors, in debt to organizations, in debt to systems, in debt to people, in, in debt, in debt. Right? We cancel the spirit of debt right now. And God says he, he's opening up the windows of heaven and pouring you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. And he's rebuking the devourer word for your sake. Debt is a devourer word. Those that don't those that know how to tithe and give, you are you have a banner over you. He said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. I'll rebuke the devourer. The thing that debt comes to devour your finances, devour your resources, strip your strip you dry in your storehouses. But today we decree and declare divine council culture. We cancel the spirit of debt right now. And God says right now, he's opened the windows of heaven, pouring you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. And he's rebuking the divine for your sake. I de we decree it and declare it to be so in Jesus' name. God's word is true. God's word is yea and amen to them that believe. The promises of God are yea and amen to them that believe. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord says, I'm, he's, he, the Lord comes to make you rich and have no sorrow. He comes to make us rich and have no sorrow. He said, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he give you desires of your heart. He'll give you the power to make wealth to establish his covenant. Power to make wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. You got power today. 
He said divine wealth transfer. That the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Not only is it laid up for the just, it's being released now because we just cancel our debt and now we receive the wealth that just do us. The wealth is due you. Wealth is due you, child of God. God don't want you to live in poverty and lack. He don't want you just barely making it. He said, you're going to live in wealth. You're going to live in a, a, a wealthy lifestyle where you have nothing missing, nothing broken. All your needs, bet, needs met, all your bills paid in Jesus' name. Living on top of the world, the head and not the tail, on top and not the bottom, above only and not beneath. Because we just cancel the spirit of debt. And in your prayer time, you keep going strong with it. When you go and pray for yourself, say, God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, God, that today I, I, I stepped in my thought. I just canceled that. So don't, don't go by what you see. Don't go by your bank statement. Don't go by the bills piled up on the table. You go by the word of God. If he said he canceled debt, he canceled debt. If he said you, if he said you got authority to cancel debt, then you have the authority to cancel debt. Whatever you cancel on earth is already canceled in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth is ever already bound in heaven. Whatever you disallow on earth is already disallowed in heaven. It's already done in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's a divine cancel culture. We cancel it out. Yes, a council culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of the circle, social circle. Council culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social circle, whether it be online or whether it be on social media or in person. So we, so we thrust Satan out of our bank accounts. We thrust him out of our homes. We thrust him out of our school system because we counsel his works and we thrust them out. Today, say you're getting thrusted out. Somebody say thrust. Somebody type in the chat, I just thrusted the enemy out of my, out of my, out of my social life. I just thrusted him out of my home. I just thrust Satan out of my bank account. He, right now, decree and declare it. Satan's being thrust out of your pocketbook, thrust out of your wallet, thrusted out of your storehouses. He's being thrust out of your marriage. He's being thrust out of your family. He's being thrust out of the school system. He's being thrust, hallelujah, out of the government. He's being thrusted today. Council culture when someone is thrust out of social circles. So we said we, we use divine council culture and thrust him out of out of our social system, thrust him out of our lives. Because God says, I came to give you life for life more abundant. Anything that's not abundant can be thrusted out. Anything that does equate with abundance can be thrusted out. Because he said, I came to get your life and life more abundant. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. He's been thrust out. He thrust out. And the, and the, the definition of council culture says also that, 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 that the person who was subject to this ostracism are said to have been canceled. So we let Satan know you your works, your stratagems, your evil plots, your agenda has been canceled in the name of Jesus Christ. And we cancel out this, we cancel out the workings of depression, oppression, sadness, sorrow, and grief out of your life, out of your life, you. I know you've been going through depression. He already let me know. Sadness, he already let me know. Sadness and sorrow and grief is not your portion. You don't have to live in depression. You don't have to live in oppression. You don't have to live in sorrow. You don't have to live in perpetual grief. You don't have to live there. He said, I came to give you life and life more abundantly and that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength and a merry heart, he said, do, will do you good like a medicine. That's your portion. So you don't have to be under the power of depression. So today, in the name of Jesus, I need you to lift your hands today. 
If you're going through any type of depression, oppression, sadness, or grief, lift your hands to God and receive, this, receive his grace and his mercy of joy. Because today we take authority over the spirit of depression and we cancel out the spirit of depression. We decree and declare divine cancel culture. We thrust you out of their souls, the souls of men that bound down and weighed down with sorrow. We thrust you out of the soulless realm. We thrust you out of the mental sphere the mental realm we thrust you out of their spirits we thrust you out satan in the mighty name of jesus whatever we bound on earth should be bound in heaven whatever we loosen on earth should be loose in heaven and whatever we cancel whatever we cancel on earth is already canceled in heaven in the name of jesus already done so your your duty child of god your duty in the name of jesus christ as a prophetic intercessor because i know people that pray listen to this broadcast people that's prayer warriors as the people that that's attracted to this broadcast so if you're listening right now god already called you a prayer warrior if you listen to this broadcast right now up, up to this point to, to the end of it right now then you are a prophetic intercessor because those are the only people that are attracted to this ministry people that are prayer warriors prophetic intercessors those are the people so god said you have that authority now use it now when you in your prayer time you just remind the wicked one because sometimes he tried to act like he got dementia satan tried to act like he got spiritual dementia and spiritual alzheimer's he's like he, he forgets stuff you have to get to remind him oh you've been canceled out of my finances because we decreed and created divine council culture you've been canceled out of my family's life You've been cast out of my finances. You've been cast out of my soul. You've been cast out of my spirit. You've been cast out of my body because I've decreed and declared divine council culture over my whole life, my family, my love, my loved ones. I'll be decreed and declared council culture over this nation and Jesus, over this planet in the mighty name of Jesus. You have to remind him because he do act like he got spiritual amps, Alzheimer's, and spiritual dementia. <laughs> he, he, just, he just so cleverly forgets. So easily forgets what well, we can we, we got authority and we just remind him. You've been counseled today, Satan. All your works, all your agendas, all your stratagems, and all your evil plots. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray today. Father God, I thank you for the authority you've given all of us that, that pray today. And will continue to give us authority as we walk in this in the light of this revelation. That has been a divine council culture. We decree it and declare it. And we thank you, Lord God, for the authority. And we thank you that you always hear us when we pray. And not only God hears us when we pray. Satan hears you <laughs> when you pray. Not only hears you, but he got to obey you. Because you have authority. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. God sent me today to cancel hell out of your life. How do you cancel hell out of your life? By giving your life over to Jesus Christ. When you, when you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, hell, death, and the grave is canceled out of your life. Hell can be hell is canceled out of the life of the believer. Spiritual death is counsel out of the life of the believer. If you want Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, say this simple prayer. I know you're ready. Come on. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I come to you. Your word says, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm calling upon your name, Lord Jesus. Jesus, save my soul. You said, if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. With my mouth, I just confessed it. And with my heart, I believe it in Jesus' name. If you pray this simple prayer, you are a child of God. Hell is canceled out of your life. It's canceled. You, you are heaven bound. You are a citizen of the kingdom. Read your word. Talk to God in prayer. And that's God that leads you to a good church, y'all. That you can join up with other believers that's going to sing where you're going, heaven bound, in Jesus' name. I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection. 
where you make a connection with God. Bye-bye. Love you. And most of all, Christ loves you.